Oh. Did you sleep down here? Yeah. I didn't mean to. Just kept putting off going to bed. Must have just crashed out. I don't know what I did wrong. I'm so sorry, Dad. Oi! You have absolutely nothing to be sorry for. Don't you be worrying about me, OK? It should be me that's worrying about you, not the other way around. Oh, how much mess can you little ones make with one banana? And that's not a dare, by the way. Oh, Johnny, you've got it in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's all worth it when they blossom into wonderful young men. Ooh, what about this one? It's only got two bedrooms, but the boys could share. Yeah, and we could make theirs a wet room and hose them down after every meal. <laughs> Why are you looking at houses? Well, we can't stay here forever, babe. It's way too small. But you're looking at two bedroom places. No, we'd need somewhere bigger, obviously. When were you going to tell me? Well, we're just mocking and judging, really. We're, we're just kind of working out what we're not going to be renting. No, uh. Leave that for now! Make the laundry a priority. We're practically out of towels. Yeah. And when you do the rooms, make sure you vacuum right under the beds. Lady Liana reckons the house dust is triggering her allergies. I was all set to defend our honour, but I had a look and it has built up. So... The only option is to burn the place down Claim the insurance and emigrate to Morocco. OK. You haven't been listening to a word I've said, have you? No, not really, no. Sorry. <laughs> I know you've got a lot on your plate, but your personal life mustn't be impacting on your work. I was only over at Brenda's cos the twins were ill. You don't have to explain yourself to me. There's nothing fishy going on. They just want their dad, that's all. Oh, I know you think I'm stupid, but I've not got a death wish. What kind of idiot do you think I am? Here you go. These are for you. What are you doing? And last but not least, I'm not getting involved. Don't be such a melt. Put them away, then. You don't want people seeing. Your mission, if you should choose to accept, is the geography block. Huh? You can do the art corridor. And you can do the canteen. I've got other operatives covering the rest of the school. What are you on about? Uh, we're going to block the bogs. Operation Shock and Awe. Can't keep you in a school without sanitation, can they? I'm not getting involved. Oh, come on, you're practically famous. You're like the biggest, baddest year eight hot in academies ever seen. Are you seriously telling me this is too much for you? I never said that. Sorry, I'm late, boss. Sorry, I've had a pig of a morning. Well, I'd love to hear about it sometime, oh. Bob. And I'll be in the back, leave me for emergencies. Bob. Um, can you just have a word with my dad? Uh, he's a bit upset. Oh, about what? Well, he's, he's got a bee in his bonnet about you and Brenda getting close again. And I, I told him he was being daft and overthinking things. You know what he's like? Bob? What? He's wrong, right? I mean, you know, you and Brenda aren't. Th there was a moment. What? What kind of moment? <sighs> Look, the twins were ill and we were nursing them together and I just... I got it wrong, OK? Like, I get everything wrong. Do you knock me back? Otherwise, you'd have what? I don't know, Laurel. But I'm lonely, OK? It's not a crime, is it? I gave up everything for you and now I've, I've got nothing. Don't you think we've caused enough damage? Carry on with what you're doing. What are you doing here? We need to talk. You should be in lessons. I can't concentrate. I feel sick. Look, I can't deal with this guilt. I've got to tell him. OK. You're right. I know. I'm on my way. Just do what you can. What's going on? The toilets are flooded. All of them. I'm going to send everyone home. 
He deserves to know the truth. Smooth, eh? Yeah. Beats trying to flog things out of the back of your brother's camp about, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. I could get used to this. I have a feeling I've found my niche. Hey. <laughs> oh, we're smashing it online. We're going to own Kill 3 at this rate. 400 likes. We're going viral. <laughs> See, I told you you'd enjoy being part of the chaos. Well, it beats double maths. So, what are we going to do? We're going to celebrate cafe. Go and distract her. Who? Vanessa? Well, what sort of distraction? Anything you like. Bigger the better. Hi! How's it going? Uh, yeah, not bad, sir. Shouldn't you be at school? Sent home early. Sanitation problems. Oh, right. We're supposed to be looking for work experience, so I thought I'd ask you guys, cos I want to be a vet. Well, if I get good enough grades. Yeah? Well, you can give me a hand with these if you like. Lesson number one, it's not all glamour working with animals. <laughs> Should I get that first one? Yeah, I'll get it for you. I owe you an apology. What I did yesterday was beyond insulting. It, it was stupid and it was selfish of me to... to expect anything from you. I am not your plan B. I'm not a consolation prize. Here just to be picked up and put down like a toy. That's not what I... It, it wasn't meant to be like that. I loved you. I really loved you. And for a minute, the idea of, of us being together, all of us, just like we used to be, it felt right. I know, yeah, I know. It, it felt right for me too. But do you really think I can ever take you back after what you've done? Even if I wanted to, which I don't, because I've got more self-respect than that. You told me that I was the love of your life. You told me I was the best thing that ever happened to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, Bob. We had something really good. We had a family, we had love, and you destroyed all that. You've ruined your life, Bob. And you are not ruining what's left of mine. You're going to die a very lonely man. Absolutely. Um, shall I pencil you in then? Lovely. All right, we'll see you then then. Thank you, bye-bye. <coughs> Rona? What the? Jacob back. No, he's at school. Well, at least I hope he is. Why? The toilets are broken. They've sent everyone home. I need to talk to you before he gets here. OK. <laughs> but I figured the right was on the wall last night. I haven't been straight with you. I know, I've been hot and cold and it's not fair. I'm sorry. 
You are a lovely, lovely bloke. You don't deserve this. <sighs> deserve what? Oh, God, David, I'm so, so sorry. I don't understand what happened. I thought we were good. It's not about you and me. It's about Jacob. What? Don't. You don't have to do this. Not because of me. Look, I know I've been a pain recently, but I've got my head screwed on now. You don't have to worry about me. Don't split up because of me. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want to see me again, if I've ruined everything. You haven't. Tell her, Dad, it's not ruined, is it? <laughs> well, I don't want it to be. Why don't you give me and your dad five minutes, yeah? I'm sure you've got some homework to be catching up on. What has me and you splitting up got to do with Jacob? Jacob didn't want me to say anything. But he's struggling with his grades. He's failing at his essays. He shouldn't be failing anything. He's a bright kid. <laughs> so you really moved out because of him? I thought maybe he was angry with me. Acting out because he didn't want me living with you. But he's OK with me and you now. He sorted his head out. He likes you. <laughs> Look, if, if you're using Jacob as an excuse, then please don't. If you don't want to be with me, then that's fine. Well, it's not fine, but... It, I uh, do. I do, of course I do. I was just trying to do what was right for everybody. I've made a massive mess, haven't I? You just... Being too nice, overthinking things. So don't. <laughs> You're going to be amazing. I know you are. You're exactly what we need. Good looks, charm, great energy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they, uh, they all say that. <laughs> Rodney, Rodney, this is uh, Trish, my new boss. Uh, don't call me that. We're a team. Hello. <laughs> you've, uh, you've a good one there. I know. And we're going to work him like a dog. <laughs> Joking. Oh. Kind of. <laughs> but take your vitamins. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> you have me there. Hey, I was going to take you out later, grab a cheeky burger. What? Not too busy house hunting? Look, I was going to tell you, all right? I just I got, I got a bit carried away, as usual. I'm sorry. You all right? Oh, well, I would be if we hadn't just spent the last hour chasing happy patients around the village. Oh, someone let all the animals out. I've been running around after cats, rabbits and guinea pigs. Maybe they staged an escape. Or maybe they were looking for new homes. Yeah. And maybe someone was stupid enough to think that letting them out would be funny. Don't look at me. Well, I am looking at you, actually, seeing as you were hanging about with Amelia and that Liana one earlier. What? So I'm not allowed mates? Noah, did you have anything to do with letting those animals out? No. Well, if you said no. Do you know what? Think what you like. It want me. Do you think you could try and show a united front with me every now and again, you know, just to wrong foot people? He's still just a bit upset about this morning. Do you want me to speak to him later? No, no, it's fine. He won't be that stupid, would he? I thought we'd been bombed. Or at the very least, burgled. I was trying to have a nap. Oh, sorry, Dad. I didn't know you were in. What have them pans ever done to you? No, I'm just trying to make the most of my day off, aren't I? Well, I could have done that, if you'd asked me. I've got a nice bit of wire wool somewhere. Bring them up, love. No, I need something to have a go at. Take it out on. Take what out on? Well, you weren't wrong, were you? Bob made a pass at Brenda. 
And was it reciprocated? Apparently not. Hmm. But it still feels like a right smack in the face. The whole thing is just such a massive mess, isn't it, Dad? Look, just cos he's ricocheting around like a ball bearing down a mine shaft, it doesn't mean to say that you've got to get dragged back into it. Yeah, but I am in it because I have caused at least 50% of this chaos. And I'm really sorry, Dad, because I know you're trying to make a go of things with Brenda and everything. Hey, don't start worrying on my behalf. You're the one we've got to focus on now. You and my wonderful grandchildren, and that's all that matters to me now. <sighs> Dad. I don't deserve you, do I? <sighs> we have got so many views. Oh, the Kelthwaite haters are out. Clearly staged, can't be real. Idiots. Look at him. He's not going to get far with his leg bandaged like that, is he? <laughs> well, what if they hurt themselves? Well, it's just going to have a sniff about. It's not like we threw them out on a motorway. Uh, can I get you anything? Um, no, we're all right, thanks. Just waiting on someone. We've got double the views as Kelthwaite's. There's no way they're going to come back against that. Never say never, but they have to come back with something pretty epic. <laughs> and then what? You do something worse and then they do something even worse? Where is this going to end? You're such a mug. <laughs> Right, I've got to go. What are you doing hanging around with her for? She's all right. She's going to get you in a lot of trouble. I'm what? Not like anyone cares, is it? Is that what this is about? How do you mean? Are you doing all this just to get some attention? Shut up. I'm doing it because it's a laugh, something to do, and to prove I'm not dead inside like the rest of you around here, including you. Smokers. They've ruined the outside for the rest of us since the smoking ban came in. Don't knock it. If they're happy to sit out here in the depths of winter and drink my hot chocolate, then I'm happy. <laughs> so, I hear Bob's been tugging at your sleeve again. Common knowledge, is it? But it's not going to go any further from these lips, I'll tell you that now. But I did wonder if you'd been tempted. If anything, it's made it clear to me that we couldn't go back. I am officially a Bob Free Zone. Well, I'm very glad to hear it. And not for entirely altruistic reasons. I was hoping that that might clear the way for you and I to refan the flames, as it were. We can steer clear of horticulture if you want. Avoid the entire subject of flora and fauna. I could even take you out to dinner or something. Imagine that. <laughs> Look, Doug, you're a lovely man. And you know I think a lot of you. But you're not in the right space, as they say, to pursue things further. No, I just think I should concentrate on the twins and the business. And, and me, for the time being. Is she that keen on all her salespeople? Ah, she uh, obviously sees star potential. Yeah, I think she's taking more than a professional interest. No, no, don't be daft. No, well, I'm just warning you. She's got the hots for you. And, uh, that could prove complicated. I don't think she's the kind of woman that will take no for an answer. Hey, Bob. Why have these not got empty glasses? Well, they're themselves, aren't they? Match doesn't start for half an hour. Well, if they're in here, they're drinking, cos I'm not running a drop-in centre here. So you better get over there and switch on some charm, cos I'd like to hear my till ringing, thank you. I can't force them to drink. Here. Salty snacks. On the house. Go. Watch it. Hey, if anybody needs to watch it, it's you, matey. Saw you with Amelia earlier. She's too young to have a boyfriend. Not a boyfriend. Yeah, well, just leave her alone, will you? Yeah, I've got my eyes on you. I don't want to let her stray. Yeah. Pint of lager, please, or any of a minute. Mm -hmm. Bob will serve you. I'd rather he didn't. 
Right, girls, these nuts are on the house. A little gift from me to you. Any drinks that you want, just give me a wink, and I'll be right over for you. Do you ever stop? It's like you're on heat. I'm just trying to do my job. Thanks, Doug. Oh, yeah. And what's that? Breaking people's hearts, ruining lives. I'm really not in the mood for this. Oh, truth hurts, doesn't it? Do you know what? If I was ten years younger, I'd knock some sense into you. Oh, go on, Doug. You're embarrassing yourself. You're a disgrace. What are you doing, Doug? Hiya. It's only me. Yeah, listen. I want to do something more serious next time. And I've identified a new target. <laughs> We're heading to Coronation Street next, where Nick and Imran are caught in a compromising situation, and we'll be back on the cobbles at 8.30. In between that, we join Paul O'Grady in Battersea, where he'll be helping out with 20 new arrivals, in all new for the love of dogs, at 8.00. <laughs>